Hello everyone, welcome to a new Game Creator Basics videos. In this video we'll be having a look at the Quest module. Before we get started I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. So here we are back in our scene. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to the Package Manager and we're going to look up Quests. Once we found that we're going to hit Import, Import, we'll go to the Module Manager and we'll enable the Quest module. And then we're going to enable the examples. Now the nice thing here with the examples is not just the example scene but it's also having a fully structured quest so we can actually see how it works. So I'll hit play here and as you can see first off we have our HUD pop-up talk to detective blue and then once we walk here um, it will say press J to open up your journal. We can track a quest and then we can close the journal again. Then here, I don't know if we can fast forward this if that's built in in this one. I know we have the option to be able to do that but at least with dialogue. So this is definitely a module I would combine with dialogue in order to uh, well, make the dialogue option slightly better, let's just say it like that. So these are just, as you can see, UI pop-ups. There's nothing wrong with that, but using the dialogue module will allow you to uh, make the system a bit more comprehensive, easily add um, audio files as well. Anyway, as you can see, our quest status has changed, and now we have these new options, and we can continue. So let's go back to our own scene and see how all of this works. So first things first, I'm going to add a, uh, a trigger here, some actions, and we're going to start off with quest HUD. We want that to open straight away. Then we also want um, the quest journal to open after, let's say, three seconds. So let's add a wait. Perfect. Now, by default, if I would hit play, nothing would actually happen because we haven't actually started a quest. So we need to use quest status. And then we're going to drag in. Now, you can drag in the quest itself, but if it doesn't automatically open up the first task, um, well, nothing will really happen. So we need to drag in the first task itself. And now if we hit play, and let's actually drag that up here. Nothing happens either. Um, so let's, let's do that right. I'm pretty sure I did it the right way, but I might be wrong here. Let's give that another go. And there we go. So we activated the quest, the first task, and we can track this as well. And we basically have the same start as in the other scene. Now, as you might have guessed, these are all UI elements, and that's absolutely great because that means we can easily customize them as well. So if we go to Game Creator, Quest Examples, Think here, prefabs, um, we have a case close prefab. And maybe there are the default quests here. There we go, prefabs. So we have a prefab for the HUD. So root, tasks, and well, as you might have guessed, for the journal as well, because obviously the journal is also just a. Uh, you know it's a prefab so yeah we can customize everything we want so that's really cool that's really nice to have um, so we know that we can customize it so let's have a look at how these quests actually function so to start off a quest we have um, the start so if we uh, if we press new here 
we'd have a new uh, a new quest automatically once we press edit we can set some settings I will I will use the default example one just to show you how it all works so we have the title we can add sprites we can do is hidden can be abandoned um, so if it would be a side quest it would be turned on and we can enable translations as well which is obviously really cool we can set some conditions for this quest to be able to uh, be visible what happens on complete now we have that prefab of case closed and what happens on fail and you can literally do a restart um, quest restart and you can uh, well, basically um, you yeah, select the same one I'm not sure if we can actually drag it in like that considering it's oh yes we can perfect and it can automatically restart or you know unless you uh, don't want that so that's pretty cool then what follows are the tasks so if you want to add a task you simply press and you know it will add one then those tasks need to be edited the same way so we have status is inactive so we can turn this on to active straight away um, once the quest starts and we can have conditions etc etc so now that I've set it to active um, after which we select what happens next so um, on complete it will automatically start the next tasks in the quests so yeah that's pretty much how simple it is to set this up and then at the end when you conclude on complete um, it will complete the entire quest line of completion of this task and yeah that's that's pretty much it now I've set this to active straight away so if if I'm correct we will remove this one now and it will automatically just activate that first task and there we go so first task is automatically activated and yeah that's pretty much how quests work now we can have one more look um, I think it's called journal quest journal prefab so as you might have guessed this is the entire prefab and we do have a couple of nice things here um, so we have uh, the viewports all pretty similar uh, scroll bars um, you know etc etc so everything you're used to and you can adjust now we have a couple of options here when it comes to um, uh, quest groups so it will show um, the journalist entries which is another prefab you can customize and then once we go down um, another quest UI option here is for the quest details this was what I was looking for so we have all of these additional options as well triggers so yeah as you might have guessed there's loads that can be customized so yeah it's in the end it's just a UI prefab and you can just integrate it into everything but having those actions to automatically open and close just makes things a lot faster so that's it for the quest module. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.